welcome everyone to the next lecture of OSHA online training. Today our topic is really important and that is lockout, tag out or lotto. But first if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe it, like it and share it with your friends so that people can get any benefit. And of course I will get some motivation from you. So today lecture outlines are the following. First we will see what is lockout and tag out why we do lockout and tag out and lastly the safety procedure for lockout tag out or lotto now what is lockout tag out so it is a procedure in safety which makes sure that the energy sources and dangerous equipment are properly being shut off there are some machinery and equipments in the safety which have to be shut off in order to dissipate or release energy from it because it might be dangerous. You will understand it when we go through two or three slides, you will get the concept. We have to make sure that the machinery is not operated up suddenly while the service work and maintenance of the machinery has been completed. Why we do lockout, tagout? Because we want to service or maintain the machinery or the equipment. Why we do service work or maintenance? Because we want to dissipate or release the energy from it. So lockout and tagout is used in order to avoid the sudden operation or the starting of the machinery. We have to put a lock and then a tag on the machinery. Why? Because we want it that we want to give a notice to the workers that this machinery is not operatable because it's under maintenance or it's under service. Why it's under service or maintenance? Because we want to do some specific operation. And what's that specific operation? Because we want to release the hazardous energy energy from the machinery or the equipment why we do it we will see in the next slide but for performing that specific operation that is service work or maintenance we want to lock out and tag out the machinery or equipment and the reason of lock out and tag out is just to prevent the workers to starting the machinery suddenly so to prevent the sudden operation of the machinery and starting it on we have to make a lock on it and a tag on it so that the workers should be aware that this machinery or the equipment is not in the running mood and it's in the service or maintenance for a specific purpose. So this is the lockout and tag out procedure. I cannot show you further pictures and share with you because it might be the copyright claim so we cannot use the copyright images. You can just Google lockout tag out in the Google and uh, you have to see the images so then you will understand lock is basically uh, to lock the, the device with a certain type of locker and then we place a tag a tag is a kind of a badge or a card stick with the device so which means that this device is locked and it's tagged and it's under service or maintenance. So lock is a lock, normal lock, which every home have, every thing have. So it's a kind of locker. You can see here, this is a lock and this is a tag. So this is a lock out, tag out. So this is a lock out, tag out operation. It might be dangerous and can put the worker at risk who is maintaining the machinery or servicing if the work if the power source or machinery is activated suddenly why for example if there is a person authorized person who is servicing or maintaining the machinery so he should not do it without having a lockout and tag out because let's suppose if the authorized person is servicing or maintaining the machinery uh, that is he is trying to release energy from it. He is doing some maintenance work or servicing the machinery and If some other worker go to the main source of energy and turn on and turn on that machinery in that case The person who is servicing the machinery might get injured or be in a huge danger So in, in that case we want to have a lockout tag out operation so sources of energy that must be locked out during maintenance and services are different kind of devices uh, may, be need, may have need 
may have in the need of lockout and tagout operation. Those devices which are electrical, which are mechanical, which are hydro hydraulic, which are hydraulic, uh, pneumatic devices, chemical devices, devices who produce radiation, who produce thermal energy. So all of those devices should be lock out, tag out because all of them are dangerous and if the service man or the service person is working and providing service or maintaining it, so he must have to be avoided from these dangerous situation from the machinery because other workers may turn on the machine because they may not be aware. So we have to make them aware by putting a lock and tag on the main source of energy relating to that specific device. Now a lot of procedure consists of two parts. One is a lock and next one is a tag. So a lock is basically put on the power source or a machinery to prevent them to become switched on. We will put a lock so no one will be able to on the machine or switch on the machine. We will make a tag and place on it. Uh, it is a kind of uh, card and uh, uh, by looking to it the workers will get to know that uh, this this source of device is basically in uh, the service mode and we cannot use it. Now the question arises that why we do lockout tag out? Because of the reason that the machinery or the equipment may need maintenance or servicing. So when we want to do this we have to do lockout tag out because the, maintain because the uh, equipment uh, may be dangerous if you work uh, without having any lockout tag out. We have to uh, switch off the main source of energy of that device when we want to work with it because the machinery may produce hazardous energy and uh, we have to service in order to make them safe. So, if you want to make them safe, because we have to dissipate energy from it, we have to maintain it, we have to service it in order to make it more safe for the workers so in that case we need it so in that case we need lockout tag out now the last important point is and this is uh, uh, really uh, crucial what is the procedure for lockout tag out or lot off we have the first point is or the first step is to notify the worker of performing the service or this procedure Workers should be notified that machine is under lot of operation. We have to notify the workers that this machine is under the lot of operation. Uh, so everyone will be aware that what's going on. Which, which ultimately means that they should not use or operate the machine up till it is completely serviced and restored for their own well. So what we have to first notify the workers. The second step is to authorized person. The second step is the authorized person will find hazardous energy type in the machinery. The authorized person will find out which has which energy type which is hazardous is in the machinery, either it's electrical, chemical, whatever it is. So uh, the authorized person who is servicing the machine will find it out. Then he will develop a plane to limit those hazardous energy. He is he will actually try to limit those hazardous nature of the machinery. The third step it is the third step is he will disable the machinery. If the device or the machinery is in the running mode, then the service person will make it stop or disable it in order to perform the service work or the maintenance work. Next point is isolation. When the device has been put in stop mode in loto or lockout tag out, then it should be isolated from its main energy source. The device which has been serviced or maintained should be isolated from the main energy source so that other workers could not start it. Other workers may not be aware so they may restart the machinery accidentally and it may become dangerous for the worker who is servicing the machine or equipment. He should isolate the machinery until the maintenance and service work is finished of the machine. So I should so isolation is really important. 
Now the next point is put lock and tags on the devices. Locks and tags should be put on the machinery or devices in order to manifest or show to the workers that the equipment is in the operated mode and cannot be started. We have to put a locks and tags on the equipment so the workers would get to know that this device is in the operation mode and it's in the service or maintenance mode so we cannot use it. The important point is then to release the stored residual or the, re the stored remaining energy. There might be some remaining energy in the devices. This device may be a crane, this may be any machinery, any electrical machinery. So there is some residual or remaining energy in the equipment and we have to make sure that it is released. Why? Because the unintentional release or dissipation of the stored energy may have immensely injured the worker. What does it mean? There is a specific procedure to release or to uh, or to release or to dissipate the energy from the machinery uh, which is remained in it or which is residual energy in it. This may be in the form of a petrol or a gas, whatever. So why we do it? We do it because uh, when when it released by itself then it may be dangerous for the worker operating that machine. There are some machinery in the safety working with it. If there is some residual or remaining energy in it, it may be dangerous for the worker if it come out unintentionally. So we do lo lock out, tag out operation for it so in order to release the energy from it to make it safe. Stored energy in the devices may be in the following form. Energy may be in the capacitors, they may be in hydraulic systems, they may be in springs. Uh, they may also be in the form of pressured water, gases, steams, airs. Now what methods are used in order to, to, in order to release or dissipate the energy from the devices by the uh, authorized person? So the authorized person can opt for bleeding down, what is bleeding down? Release energy from the device or machinery slowly is called bleeding down. He may release the energy slowly from the device to make it safe come out and not having any hazardous or dangerous situation. Repositioning, he may reposition the device, alter the position of the device, change the position of the device to release the energy from the device. Grounding off, creating low resistance. He may grounding off, he may actually uh, a direct the energy source to the ground level so a low resistance place is ground so the energy from the device or the machinery will come out and will move to the ground so grounding off is another method of releasing energy from machinery now uh, the important point uh, in the last is that the device should be free from the energy uh, at that time all the workers should be make sure that they are not in the area and work area is, is clear only the authorized person will working with the device then the device which has been put on lotto should be disconnected from lotto mode by turning it on when all the dissipation energy work is done and the energy has been released so that machinery will be disconnected from the lotto mode what is lotto mode we have discussed to put a lock and take and then the machinery will be in, in the on position and we will make it turn on so then it will be in its operatable position. So I hope guys that uh, you like uh, it and it will help you a lot. If you have any doubt, doubt, if you have any doubt, any question, then you can ask me in the comment section. I will really like your response. Thanks and take care. Bye for now.